Bach him up. I don't really. James Lee Baker, aka Block Boy JB, born May 19, 1996. Drake in rap music is held as the top rapper in the game currently and has been for over 10 years now as far as mainstream sales, notoriety and achievements. As far as talent, he's up there with the best as well, although there has been questions of how to judge his music based on the allegations he doesn't solely curate them, which in rap is seen as points lost. But what I think Drake has been able to do better than any artist probably ever is place himself beside the next upcoming hot artist or wave and use it to smoothly ride his way into his next project, essentially giving himself new forms of life in a music industry that's constantly on to the next thing. It's genius, but not at all new or unheard of. We've seen Kanye do it, Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, Lil Durk, and who can forget Rich the Kid, who's underratedly done it his entire career and in my opinion is the best at it low key. Either way, having a rapper like Drake, who appeals to every side of the fence when it comes to marketing in this new era on your song if nothing else means that song is going to be seen and do numbers on the charts, giving you the springboard you want as an artist, not just new ones but whoever. Credit to DJ Academics for famously coining the phrase the Drake Stimulus and that couldn't be more accurate because that's exactly what a featured verse from Drake does. It stimulates a career either buzzing a little bit or in dire need of a shock to the chest. In the case of today's feature, Blockboy JB didn't need resuscitation or a jolt to his career. He was already buzzing out of Memphis with his new hot song Summer 2017 called Shoot that was a wave of its own, complete with a dance move that swept the nation all year. One so hot, Fortnite used it in their video game, which was the hottest game to release probably ever. JB was already receiving major looks, but it wasn't until a year later he released a song of his career called Look Alive that he really exploded onto the scene. The song featured a verse from none other than the wave surfer himself Drake, who to many spit his best bars on a featured song. I know for me, that and his sicko mode as far as mainstream features will go down in history as the perfect additions. Look Alive was a top 5 hottest song in the country and gave Blockboy JB the stimulus of a lifetime. The song itself went 5 times platinum in the United States alone, certifying Blockboy JB a platinum selling artist the rest of his life. He was supposed to use that to help make himself a household name, instead his studio album flopped. That song itself was misused for a mixtape and he never came with heat like it ever again. The fall off got so deep he once posted a depressed message on Instagram alluding to ending it all or as he says not making it. He hasn't posted a tweet in a year and hasn't been the same artist since the Drake stimulus wore off. What happened? Let's talk about it. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music. Let's get it man. Take a minute to like, subscribe, and comment on who I should do next. Blockboy JB is a rap artist from Memphis, Tennessee who's had a tumultuous upbringing from his father going to prison for 25 years when he was really young, causing him to resort to the streets at just 14 years old. He grew up not too far from producer Tay Keith who became famous for producing for Black Youngster, which inspired JB to go even harder. The two began working together more often, posting music to JB's SoundCloud that amassed a small following before he released a song Shoot produced by Tay Keith. In what seemed like overnight, Blockboy JB was blowing up with not just the song but a new dance sweeping hip-hop in general, not just locally. That and his song Rover were buzzing when Drake hit him up on Instagram looking for a collab. Tay Keith Pryor had sent Drake a beat pack and the instrumental for Look Alive was on there and that's what he felt was perfect to collab with JB. Look Alive dropped and Blockboy JB became the hottest thing in Memphis and rap. Stun number 1, Album Not Releasing Sooner Say what you want, I still believe in the album and how much it means to the artists, but mostly his fans, to have a placement they could have as a marker in time in their lives when Blockboy JB was it for them. Albums signify an artist was compelling enough to make it through all the steps it takes to even get to that point. 
buzz from a single you've released, that single attracting a major label that signs you, or distributing it the independent way, a successful promotion of the artist that maximizes the potential of the song, great timing in which to promote a full-length project, then the release of that project, and the successful promotion of it. For an artist, albums live on forever and represent your legacy and the extension of your career depending on its success. The most important element to successfully capitalizing on an album is timing and I don't think Blockboy JB and Inescope Records fully capitalized on his. When Look Alive dropped in 2018, it was a bomb in hip-hop that shot JB into a new stratosphere, landing him on the cover of XXL, featured as one of that year's freshman class. Drake was about to release an album summer of that year as well, so perfect way for him to ride right into his fifth album, Scorpion. In my opinion, JB should have released his debut project right behind that and soak up all the buzz like a sponge and ring it out right into an album. Instead, he released a Look Alive song on his mixtape project, completely missing the chance to do what Drake did, ensure great rollout into an album. Mixtapes are cool, but when it's all said and done, artists are judged by how successful their albums become, not mixtapes that came with the stigma they aren't to be seriously considered. JB would release an album two years later in 2020 with no buzz around his name by then and it failed to make noise or the charts. Stunt number two, Inescope's promotion of JB. Inescope, the record label, did to Blockboy JB exactly what labels do to artists like JB who come equipped with their own hot singles and buzz. They milk said buzz for all it's worth, having the artist over-promote the song sometimes for a full year or more before they consider an album or a plan to successfully transition into what's next. Blockboy JB was an easy target. Some would say he unknowingly brought it on himself. He reminds me of all those artists from the snap and ringtone music era in the 2000s that became extremely hot because of a catchy song or dance move. Then, a year later, we can't find them at all. Not too many artists that came out and got hot by way of a dance move carry that over into a successful career. The thing is, labels know that and so don't reserve resources for the artist to develop into household names because to be frank, they can see the artist doesn't have the talent to be more than what's hot now. It's not like fans began to love JB because he had hot lyrics or a story like King Von outside of music that's authentic and interesting to follow. He was seen as the weird dancing guy from Memphis Drake did a song with. He came with Rover 2.0 featuring 21 Savage after his Drake feature and that song did well but didn't have the impact Look Alive did seeing it didn't come with a dance and 21 Savage doesn't exactly have the stimulus power Drake has. JB fell into the singles artist category from a label's perspective and as we all know, singles artists only last for so long because usually they can't consistently produce more that's equally effective. Singles artists also receive less of a budget and less promo, and with that, Blockboy JB faded. Stunt number three, no more hits in the vault. The problem with the Drake stimulus package is you can get so hot and become so known for just that song that when the song dies, so does your career. It happens because the fans become accustomed to hearing you in the light of that song. What artists fail and do next is they do complete 180s into entirely different music, thinking, well, the single already brought them in, now I can show them my real music. But 9 times out of 10, the fans weren't there for deep cuts from you. They just liked you on that Drake song you did, so the feeling from them is, how about give us more of that? Your real music. It sucks and it's not fair, but what in life is? Piggybacking off stunt number two, Blockboy JB over the next few years was on a sole promotion of Look Alive, then he just disappeared from the game dealing with depression and the pressure of being his circle's breadwinner. Whatever the case, no more hot singles came after Look Alive that could match the power of that song and that's another possible disadvantage to the Drake stimulus. It raises the bar too high. Blockboy JB never reached that height again, and as time goes by, likely never will, as fast as fans move on to the next wave. 
All in all, Blockboy JB got on and got the hit song most artists never get. He's a platinum artist forever, even if he's seen as a one-hit wonder. He still has a fan base, but he needs to get right mentally and be more consistent to supply their demands. The stimulus wore off, now can JB make himself hot again? We'll see. But for these reasons, his growth was stunning. Salute, much respect, it's your boy JC Stunner Growth Music, and I'm out.